The Elections Commission wasted no time planning for the recount, which was filed on Friday. So far, they've already collected estimates from all 72 Wisconsin counties on what they believe the recount would cost them. That cost will be entirely covered by the candidates who are calling for the recount. I've never seen this kind of uh, attack on poll workers. The chairman of Wisconsin's Elections Commission stated his concern for the motive behind Wisconsin's historic recount. To say that it's not being fair or it's not that people are counting illegal votes, uh, from my vantage point, is an insult to the people that run our election. The candidates who have requested the recount say they believe voting machines may have been inaccurate due to a possible hack. That's something the administrator of the commission says is highly unlikely because each individual voting machine in Wisconsin would have to be physically tampered with. And to do that once and be detected is hard to uh, believe it could happen. To do that throughout the state with a variety of different equipment um, it, it seems very unlikely. And even though President-elect Donald Trump has condemned the recount, the commission's chairman brought up tweets Trump sent out over the weekend questioning the integrity of the voting system and claiming thousands of votes were cast and counted illegally. I think it's most unfortunate that the president-elect is claiming that there's huge problems with our system and that's feeding what I call this conspiracy theory. Theory or not, a recount could detect any fraudulent votes, but the Elections Commission says they're confident they got the election results right the first time. I fully expect, given the history of how elections are conducted in Wisconsin and their accuracy and my trust in my, my citizens who are, who are counting these votes, that the outcome is not going to be different. The candidates requesting the recount will have to pay the total estimated cost of it by tomorrow. That means the recount process could start as soon as Thursday. No matter what, though, the Election Commission is saying it needs to be completed by 8 p.m. on December 12th. That's two weeks from today and one day before the federal deadline. In Madison, Hannah Flood, NBC 15 News.